Hello, I am Angelo Di Pietro. I am the inventor of the Rotary Piston Engine. It's an engine that is powered by compressed air. How long have you been working on this? Quarter of my life, and I am nearly 63. I have an engine that has been invented and has been patented and has been granted affordability, sustainability, and solution to pollution. I think these are the three most important benefits. This engine here has been designed to save energy. We could be running that engine with petrol, but I choose not to do that because I wanted to do the environmental, I wanted to concentrate more on the environmental side of. And I think it's a good start. Let the heavy vehicle, let the ship, let the aeroplane continue to run with petrol. But let us put this cars in the city without polluting. This will allow us to do all these things. It's about four times more efficient than a 16 piston model and five times more efficient than vine models. It's a rotary, it's a rotary system. It's compact and has very few components, all up made 10 mine components. Let me demonstrate to you why it's not wearing. Uh, the, I give you a reference point, one, two, and three reference point. Now I rotate, so you got one, two, and three reference point. I rotate this shaft 360 degrees, and you just watch how far away that moves over one revolution. Just keep watching, mm -hmm. keep watching. I now done one revolution and only moved a little bit. Yeah, we should be we should be rethinking um, what we do with cars. We need to look into the future. Forget about the past. You know the past simply doesn't work for us. Not with this technology. We will be laughing in 20 years' time when we look at the cars of today. We will be laughing. We use much too much spice to park a car. That's crazy. We use too much power to power them. We use too much material to build them. We sell, we sell so many parts when we only need one part ready to the price on the car. Vast, vast, vast. This it's not time. You don't need to be this way. We can fly instead of work. There is a better way to live. You know, we have a technology that allows us to manufacture the, this vehicle of the future with a minimum amount of energy it's required to do an amount of work. There is no much plastic there. What, what, we, what we actually doing here, it's what other people has done with the mobile phone. If I am going back 40 years ago, the mobile phone and the battery, it used to go into a wheelbarrow because it was that big, and you would use all the power of the battery that day. Now look the mobile phone of today. They work perfect, you can call the other side of the world, the battery is very tiny, it uses very small amount of energy. So, there you go, an example. We need to improve, but improve a lot, a lot, about what we need to do with cars, you know? So, what I am saying to you is, there, with our system, the energy that we actually use today to power one car, we can actually power 100 cars in the future with that amount of energy. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the good part about petrol, which nature has given to us, is so dense in energy density. Right? 
but it's also so harmful to the environment, and, you know, and I really don't see the benefits. I really don't see them. We need to move away from that. Mm -hmm. And I feel that we are ready now. We are ready. We are ready for the buses. We are ready for the cars. We are ready for the forklift. We are ready for the motorbike. We are ready. And the air engine, I am sure it's the solution. I am 100% sure the air engine is part of the solution. At least part of the solution.